でしょ No filter on their imaginations. They have no filter on their mouths. They have no filter on anything. So, whenever kids invent things, they're like genius, right? There are so many kid inventors in this world that that inspire even the adults to invent these these even more extravagant things. Because the way children think nowadays, because we teach them so many great ways you can do things and they can see it and they can understand it in different different kinds of ways than we can really um understand as adults because their minds aren't limited to one thing once adults get out of high school they're like okay these are the ways to do things until we train our brain to think otherwise so there are many 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 kid inventors in the world if you don't know one offhand i urge you to youtube one to figure out Maybe there's even a kid adventure near you that you can support and that might need your support for something. Check it out and let me know what you think. If you find an awesome kid adventure that maybe a lot of people don't know about, please put it in the comments so everyone can see them and support them and send them all the love and support that they absolutely need. Happy inventing and see you next time. You got it. It is time for our awesome affirmations. So what are awesome affirmations and why are they important? Well, I'll tell you, don't worry. So awesome affirmations are to reclaim our awesomeness into the entire world. The reason they're important is because they use some of the most powerful words in the English dictionary, which are the words I am. Anything following those words are literally creating the reality. So we use these to reclaim our muchness and our awesomeness in the entire world. So every single day we wake up awesome and we feel awesome every single day because we know we're the awesomest, right? You can repeat after me if you want, but if not, it's totally cool. Um, the words will still soak into your subconscious and go where they need to go. I am awesome. I'm the awesomest person alive. I'm having an awesome day. I'm doing awesome things today. I am the creator of awesome things. It's true. I am awesomely fulfilled. I am totally open to awesome coming my way. I am wonderful, beautiful, talented, strong. Oh yeah, and awesome. They're pretty awesome, right? You're pretty awesome too. Did you know that? I know you're awesome, but sometimes it's nice to have someone else tell you, right? So these are the condensed version of my awesome affirmations. If you'd like the full version, please check out my YouTube channel. I'd love to see you there. Happy holidays. Stay awesome. Are you an organized person? Sometimes I am and sometimes I'm definitely not. Whenever I was growing up, I was actually considered a piler. I don't know if you know what pilers are, but they're people that have piles for things. I didn't like to clean up, but I put all my clean clothes in, in a pile. My dirty clothes were in a separate pile. And if you asked me where something was, I could dig through it and figure it out. I was a piler. 
<laughs> whenever I grew up though, I realized that my keen sense for remembering where things was, was a very, very good organizational tactic. And it helped me realize that I'm actually very, very good at organizing. I just don't like to clean. There's a difference. <laughs> so, whenever I figured this out, things got a lot easier for me. They truly did, because I was like, I didn't hate that I was a little messy. I was cool with it. I was like, okay, let me just organize something. And whenever you get organized, you, it's like it feng shui's your mind as well. So if you organize your exterior world, your interior world will also feel more organized and more clean. Everything like that. Cool, huh? So if you are feeling like you can't, you can't think straight, maybe clean up, maybe organize some things and see how that works. Because as you put things away where they're supposed to go, you're mentally putting things where they're supposed to go as well. So try that out today. Word of the day. Whew, breathe. And ask. So, today we need to take a deep breath in and out and understand that we don't have all the answers, but if we ask our questions, we can find all the answers. Easy as pie. So don't be afraid to ask. Ask those questions to yourself. Ask those questions to your spirit guides. Ask your questions to any credible resource. And please remember, don't ask questions to people that don't have credibility within that topic. You're not going to ask a barber how much it would cost to do sales and marketing. No. You'd ask someone who's in sales and marketing. You'd ask your barber about haircuts or, or shaves, whatever. So breathe. Know your people's strengths. And don't be afraid to ask. There are no stupid questions. <laughs>